Although secret scanning tools are generally intended to be run on code bases, we can also run them offensively on web content that we've downloaded or are otherwise able to access. So what I've done here as a test is taken some previous way more results uh, of which originally there was nothing interesting, but I added a secrets.json file. And in this file, it contains a fake API key as well as uh, you know a password, both of these in uh, a JSON object. And uh, I was going to test a couple of different tools that we can use uh, against these on the file system. Uh, now, if you're wanting to run this on other web content, obviously to run it in this way, you'd have to download that content first and have it accessible within, uh, within a folder on your machine. The first tool that we're gonna look at is Trufflehog, which is a popular secret scanner. And it has an option to scan the file system just by indicating file system. And then we want to put the directory, which is going to be the way more results folder. I hit enter. It takes some time to look for the secrets. And uh, interestingly, it actually didn't find any. Um, I'm not sure why. It would be interesting to, to diagnose how that's working and uh, uh, <laughs> look at uh, how it might be able to be fine-tuned or, or improved to identify that secret. Um, but there is another alternative tool that we can run called uh, Whispers. And so with whispers, you just specify the whispers command. And then I'm going to, uh, whoops, I should specify the uh, location, uh, input the folder where we want it to scan. And it scans all the files in that folder. Uh, and look at that, it's uh, it's actually identified. Uh, it's given us a warning uh, for a couple of things that it flagged, you know, a potential uh, key and, and password. So uh, at least we had one tool have some success in, in this case and uh, probably working with uh, with web application testing. Um, it's just easiest to run multiple tools, but you know, if you have the time and uh, dedication, it, it may be worth evaluating the different uh, scanning approaches, you know, regular expression uh, data sets that are used and uh, coming up with some way to fine tune this so that it works the best in your, uh, in your specific use cases.